Welcome to Ten Pines Bluff. This is the first settlement in my newest playthrough that I've actually put a fairly decent amount of work into and I've got it mostly complete. Uh, there's a few things that I want to do that I'll point out as I get there, but I've got the settlement completely surrounded by junk fences. I've added um, protection in the form of guard shacks, or not guard shacks, but guard posts. Um, that's one of them right there in the corner. There's some of my junk fence work. This work, by the way, is all thanks to uh, no respawns and his scaffolding junk fences. Um, this post up here, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with yet. I thought about putting turrets, but I haven't unlocked all of the turrets yet, so I'm waiting. Um, this is a, uh, a guard post that comes with one of my mods. I don't think it's uh, vanilla extensions. I think it may be workshop rearranged. I'm not exactly certain, but there's like five different styles, and, and I like them. They're junk fence guard shacks. You can see one of my, uh, my settlers using another one of those guard uh, posts. Lucas and the traders still seem uh, still come here and use that campfire and they actually come through that door that blue door right there. Um, don't know why they come in the side instead of the front but anyway here's another guard shack there's one of my buildings. This is one of the junk fences and it's using well there's another view of the place um this is using the scaffolding and railings on the right going to um just a large scaffolding here and that mat is a guard shack or guard post i keep using the wrong term here um huh? I, I think that comes with busy settlers um but as you can see, I've wrapped it all the way around the the settlement, all the way up to the building that uh, was torn down, which I've reconstructed. Uh, don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's generators in that wall. And, you know, everybody's got to have a place to uh, study. So that's our little study place. I'm, I'm trying to catch dogs here for... Um, security purposes uh, little workshop area um, here's a little cubby hole I created and I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it yet either but it goes probably three quarters of the length of this building and the reason it stops is because the um, the building zones uh, ends there I can't build beyond that I can't put anything past it so the building is mostly repaired, but not completely, as evidenced by that hole I just showed you. Uh, we're not using any fancy water pumps yet. Here's one of my uh, settlers' busy areas. When I get more settlers, this one's not fully um, stocked on settlers. Uh, I think it's only got six at the moment. Um, there's another guard tower. Another station for, you know, the settlers to do stuff. There's um, the generators. These two generators are the main power for the for the house. Um, this is, I mean, it, it's a nifty little idea. It's scrappy. That's what I like about it. I, I don't think it's really believable that somebody would just put plywood on top of a couple of barrels and stand on it but that's what yes. that's what it's done now that door there i thought um more traders would come through it but no one's come through that door yet so here's another one of those guard mats and my guards won't stand on it i haven't figured that out yet maybe i've got that mat in the wrong place or something huh? um i may not even need that guard um post because i'm like i said i can't get anybody to come through that door so little garden area I've expanded it with a few corn and uh, uh, yeah. meat fruit. Uh, more yes. of my junk wall. There's my first dog that I've captured. I want to capture one one more, actually. 
There's uh, the remaining junk fence. Now this area here isn't complete because I'm, I've not attained um, Local Leader 2 yet to where I can set up shops. But I think this is where I'm going to have caravans come and I'm going to have a little shop or two there. Another one of these guard shacks. Guard posts. This is actually a hole in the wall. There's a, there's a mod I have that um, creates some variety to the junk fences and it's got some low Another spots day and of holes hard and that's why I put that concrete Never changes. Um, um, concrete block guard uh, post there another guard shack I've got plenty of guard posts running all the way out to the front here and again I've I've thought about putting uh, turrets out here maybe some lasers or something just to bolster the the front as you can see I don't know if you got a really good glimpse there but I put uh, uh, wood flooring in in the middle there so our uh, visitors wouldn't have to step in the mud a little f bent plywood to get up on the wall oops there's my gun um, maybe a laser maybe another guard uh, mat not sure like I said, I'm still working out everything, but the vast majority of the structures are here, and that's what I'm that's what I'm proudest of. Okay, so I'm gonna run over here and I'm gonna show you um, the other side of the junk wall. And get up on this side, and this one um, would let us protect this uh, area looking back towards sanctuary because there's a lot of open space there and I think one of the one of the raider attacks spawn from over there and again I can put turrets up here I can put guard mats or or whatever right now it's just a way for me to get up on the wall and shoot um, I actually thought about running this type of wall right here all the way around the place and it was like no I think I'm gonna oops I don't know why I hit that. Um, I think I'm just going to run all the way around. I'm going to tie buildings into the wall. And that's what I did here. Uh, you can't see it from this view, but the back side of this, of this building is actually part of the junk wall. So here we've got some settlers, how, um, I don't know, living areas. Um, this one's a writer or some kind of, you know, office nut. This one over here is uh, more of a nautical guy. Um, likes his bunk beds and such. Now, there's nothing out here on this patio because I haven't unlocked the patio furniture yet. So, I'll, I'll, I'll end up putting one of those uh, patio uh, tables out there and a couple of chairs. Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. We'll um, walk through here and get us to the, uh, to the main building, I think. See, I've patched up this hole. I I did it mainly because I I kept getting stuck in the in, in the ruts there, and I and I just said I'm, I'm done with it and put some floorboards there. This is uh, the Minutemen headquarters for this encampment, and that corner right there, that radio is for uh, salvage beacons. It's a mod that helps me um, collect stuff as I go around the Commonwealth. It, I actually put a beacon in a container and the c settlers from the closest settlement go out and pick it up. Kind of helps me with my carry weight problem. We go upstairs and we find a more, uh, larger common area. Most of my beds. A few more settlers living areas. Stocked with food and clothes. This guy's a gun nut, obviously. Get around, see that they've uh, just had breakfast. Place to sit and read, or place to sleep. That's my bed right there. Stock refrigerator. Haven't figured out what to do with this porch yet, but we'll do something with it. And I'm thinking about putting something over in there as well. 
not exactly sure yet. I think um, in one of No Respawn's tours, he had a he had a power armor station over there, and I'm I'm not going to be a power armor player with this uh, playthrough, but. You know, I mean, maybe I'll put some more um, scrapping stations or something. Now, this house, I tried my best to um, make work without any electricity. So you'll see a lot of candles and um, candle sconches on the walls and, and on the tables and stuff just to give it some atmosphere and... If I do say so myself, at nighttime and or, and or when it's foggy, it looks pretty sweet. More gun nut guys. Places to sleep and lay their heads. So I've got a. If I'm not mistaken, I got a total of 12 beds. And I think that's all I'm going to keep here, is, is 12. Um, if, if it gets more than that, which it will, I'll, uh, I'll turn the recruitment beacon off and I will um, send them all to Sanctuary or somewhere. Here's the boardwalk. Machine gun up there, machine gun to the left. Guard tower as you go out. And for the record, I tried my best to leave this area alone. I think the only thing I moved was the water pump. And I think I moved that grill, too. But everything inside the building I left alone. Everything on the outside of the building, mostly I left alone. And I left the cooking station alone. So, anyway, that's my tour of Ten Pines Bluff. I hope you enjoyed it.